Hello, my name is Joshua Mugabe. I welcome you to Feeding in Paramecia. Paramecium and amoeba both live in freshwater pools or ponds and they feed on microscopic organisms such as bacteria and single-celled algae. So we are looking at the feeding in paramecium. And we are saying that the paramecium and the amoeba, they live in the freshwater ponds and they feed on microscopic organisms like bacteria and single-celled algae. We are going to see how the feeding takes place. For the amoeba, for it, it takes in food at almost any point on its surface. Whereas the paramecium, for it, it takes in food only at the cytostorm. Now, the palamecium, it has the different parts of the body. And we saw the oral groove, this space here. That is the oral groove, which is an opening, which takes in food. And then it has the cytostorm. The cytostorm is here which you would call the mouth. So food particles will enter into the oral groove and they will be directed to the cytostome, which is the mouth of the paramecium. That's how the paramecium takes in food. The cilia in the oral groove, they create a current of water which wafts the food organisms up to the cytostome where they are ingested in a food virtue. So we have the oral groove which we have seen this part here that is the oral groove but at the oral groove and inside the oral groove they are cilia if you can see properly they are cilia there those cilia inside the oral groove they create a water current they will create a water current which pushes or wafts or pulls the water with the food organisms to enter into the oral groove and go to the cytostome here. When it reaches the cytostome, then they are going to be converted into a food virtue. This one here is now our food virtue, which is surrounding the ingested food organisms. The food virtue then follows a specific route through the cytoplasm. On its travel, enzymes are secreted into the virtue and the food is digested. So we have seen 
our food entering into the oral groove with the water, with the help of the cilia, current created by the cilia, then it goes to the cytostome, where now it is going to be enveloped in the food virtue. So the food is going to be ingested into the food virtue. Now that food virtue is going to take a route to enter into the cytoplasm. Now when the food virtue is in the cytoplasm, Enzymes are going to be secreted into the food virtue. From the cytoplasm, enzymes will be released into the food virtue. And those enzymes that are secreted into the food virtue, they are going to start digesting the food inside the food virtue. As the food virtue is moving inside the cytoplasm of the paramecia. The digested substances are then absorbed into the cytoplasm. So as the food virtue goes around, the cytoplasm, all those materials that have been digested inside the, the food virtue, they are going to be absorbed into the cytoplasm. So the digested food materials will be getting out of the food virtue and entering into the cytoplasm, what we are referring to as being absorbed into the cytoplasm. The undigested matter is expelled through the anal power. This contrast with amoeba, which can expel the undigested remains from almost any point. Now, for the amoeba, it can use any surface of its body to expel undigested remains. But for the paramecia, after digesting the food in the food virtue, the digested materials are going to be absorbed into the cytoplasm. Now that means that what remains in the food virtue are substances that have not been digested. Now those substances that have not been digested will be taken at the point we call the anopoa of the paramecium here. So the food virtue will come and release all the undigested material out of the food pore, anopoa. That's where the undigested materials are going to be released out of the paramecium and they will be expelled out of the cytoplasm. Hello, my friend. Thank you very much for participating in feeding in Paramecia. Please do like, share, and subscribe.